In question 7 we have a diagram showing the paths of microwaves from two narrow slits acting as coherent sources through a vacuum to a detector. In A we are to explain what is meant by coherent sources. Well coherent sources have the same wavelength and a constant phase difference which can be zero. In B part 1 we are given the frequency of the microwaves at 9.4 gigahertz. We have to find the wavelength. Well wavelength is wave speed over frequency and this comes out at 3.2 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. In part 2 we are to use the diagram and our previous answer to find the path difference between the two waves arriving at the detector. Well there are six complete waves to the left slit. Well there are six complete wavelengths from the left slit and five from the right slit so the path difference is one wavelength of 3.2 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. In C, we're to state and explain whether a maximum or a minimum will be detected at the position shown. Well, the waves will meet in phase, so will constructively interfere, giving a maximum. In D, the experiment is rearranged, so the perpendicular distance from slits to detector is 0.42 metres, with the fringe spacing changing to 0.11 metres. We're to find the slit separation, giving our answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. Well, this is the formula. The fringe separation is wavelength times distance to screen over slit separation. Rearranging for slit separation, putting in the values, gives an answer of 0.12 meters. Our data is to two significant figures, so the answer should be to two significant figures. In E, with the detector at the position of a maximum, the frequency is doubled, where to state and explain what would now be detected in this position. Well, wavelength would halve, meaning there would still be a whole number of wavelengths path difference. Therefore, there would still be a maximum.